now that I have all of my images adjusted and saved in my images folder, I can verify that by going into my public HTML, my ed421 folder, and the images folder, and I have all six of my pictures saved here. I now can go into Dreamweaver and start inserting these images. So if I open my little test website here, I can show you exactly how to insert an image. So simply place your cursor where uh, you want your image to be. Let's say I just want to insert one right beneath the title of my website here. We'll go ahead and get rid of that and scroll down uh, a few spaces. And now to insert an image, simply go to the insert uh, menu at the top and select image. Now it's going to ask you to locate the image uh, you want to insert. And so you might have to locate your public HTML folder here on the left. Mine's going to be a little bit different. So find your public HTML server, click your ed421 folder, click your images folder, and now we have our list of images. So select the one you want to insert. It's going to give you a little preview and select choose. Now it's going to ask you for an alternate text and this is going to be uh, what the computer would read to someone um, if they have a vision impairment and they are at your website. So be sure to add an alternate text every time and click OK. And now we have my image inserted and if I click to the right of this image because of the, the current formatting and click and hit my return button I can now put my cursor beneath the picture and add uh, some some text of some sort. And now you can see how you can add text and images to start constructing the basics of your website. Now the next step in this situation would be to do a file save. And this is going to save the page with everything you've done to it where you saved it before. So it's going to save it in that public HTML folder that you created. Now, if we want to view this website on the internet in a browser, we can open a browser and with Firefox or Safari or whatever browser you're using open, simply go to File and click open file and it's going to ask you to find the file you want to open so you'll have to go into your public HTML folder ed421 and find the HTML file you've been working on and click open and now we can see what our website would look like in a browser it's always important before you open it in a browser to make sure you have saved it in Dreamweaver. Simply do a file save and then you can open it in the browser and see all the changes that you have.